Hey everybody, I'm Allison from Money Done Right here with another of our cashback app reviews and tutorials. Today with help from Viana, one of our writers, we're reviewing Coupon Cabin, a cashback app that claims to give you top-notch savings and a lot of cash back. According to the website, Coupon Cabin pays its users five times more cash back than any cashback app. And they also have expedited payments, meaning that you could possibly receive your cashback earnings faster. Now that's a lot to promise. So with this video, we're gonna answer the question, are these claims true? We'll start with a walkthrough of the app. You'll see Coupon Cabin's basic features from their coupons to their cash back to their gift card selections. You'll see it all. And you'll see Viana use Coupon Cabin for a purchase. And we'll see whether the cash back that she's promised actually appears in her account. And later on in the video, I'll also list our pros and cons for Coupon Cabin as well as people and situations that we think the app might be good for or people in situations we think the app might not be good for. So then you can decide for yourself if Coupon Cabin is right for you. Now, if you do think the app is right for you by the end of this video, we would appreciate it if you signed up using our link in the description below. Using this link gives us a small commission at no cost to you so that we can keep making these honest and thorough reviews just like this one. All right, let's get started. To download Coupon Cabin, just tap the link in the description below. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll have the chance to set your notification preferences. Once you do that, you should be able to enter the app. Immediately, you'll see a bunch of online deals under the Coupons tab. Featured coupons at the top include a $50 bonus from Foot Locker for orders over $50. And if you scroll down, you'll see even more trending coupons, like up to 50% off at Walmart and Sam's Club, as well as 50% off at Nike, up to 45% at Dow, 25% off at Adidas, and a whole lot more. To see more information about each coupon, just tap on it and you'll see the fine print. These coupons are organized by trend, exclusivity, in-store and online, which is pretty convenient if you're looking to shop in a specific way. If you tap exclusive, you'll see similar coupons to the ones that I just mentioned, including up to 15% bonus at Enterprise and up to 25% bonus at Staples. However, remember these deals change often. And if you download this app, this page might look a little bit different. You can also check out in-store and online coupons, which is pretty sweet. If you want to redeem a coupon, just tap on any of the merchants and options for how you can get a hold of that coupon will appear. So for example, if you tap on this $2 off coupon for Great Clips, it'll take you to a screen with a get coupon button so that you can then redeem it. If you tap that button, it should redirect you to a page in your browser with those instructions. In this case, in order to get $2 off of Great Clips, you'll need to sign up for the Great Clips e-newsletter. Similarly, if you tap get coupon on any other merchant within the coupons tab, you'll get redirected to a page with further instructions on how you can redeem that coupon. Under online coupons, if you tap activate offer, then you'll be redirected to the merchant website where the offer is automatically applied. As you see here, this 30% off coupon for Old Navy is already applied and ready for checkout. Also under online offers, you'll see a get code button for some of the offers. If you tap this button, you'll get a code that you can just copy and paste to checkout. When Viana tested this out, for example, Coupon Cabin let her copy and paste a coupon code for 15% off purchases over $100 at Kohl's. Coupon Cabin then redirected her to the Kohl's website. And when she applied the discount code during checkout, it worked. However, when she tried getting a 15% off any purchase code for H&M, the code did not work. Additionally, some coupons have conditional offers. So for example, to get 5% off of any purchase from Lowe's, you'll need to sign up for the Lowe's business credit card. There's even a printout option if you want to do it the old school way, which actually could come in handy. So overall, there's a lot of flexibility here when it comes to obtaining a coupon. It could be as easy as just copying and pasting and then having the coupon actually work, or it could be as lengthy as signing up for the entire credit card. Overall, Coupon Cabin's coupons feature ultimately lets you decide how you want to coupon, which is how we like it. All right, moving on now to Coupon Cabin's cash back feature. According to this Coupon Cabin page, if you sign up to become a member, you'll get perks like a $5 reward from purchasing your first cash back offer through the app, cash back at more than 3,000 stores, daily cash back payments, and more. If you tap the gift cards tab, it'll say the same thing. You'll need to sign up for an account. So if you tap the account tab, you'll get the chance to sign up for an account. To create an account, just type your email address, create a password, and tap create my account. 
Afterwards, you'll see your account settings where you'll have the chance to add your name. You can see messages. This is where you'll see your notifications. Edit your email or edit your password. You'll also see a note. This is at the bottom to choose a payment preference. Now, according to Coupon Cabin, you have to provide this information within 120 days of your first qualifying purchase in order to receive cash back. To add a payment preference, tap Payment Settings, and from here, you have the option to select how you want to cash out. We like that there's a wide variety of options here. You can cash out your earnings for a gift card or through Venmo, PayPal, check, direct deposit, charity, and even crypto. Viana chose to cash out for a gift card. So if you tap gift card, you'll see your options at the bottom of the screen. You can scroll through these to see which gift card you like the best. As you can see, Coupon Cabin's gift cards are offered with a bonus cash percentage. So for example, if you chose to cash out for an Amazon gift card, Coupon Cabin will add a 20% bonus to your eligible cash back amount. Viana said that she didn't really like how this is at the bottom scroll feature rather than an actual screen where you can see a layout of gift cards to choose from. Choosing a gift card is supposed to be fun. This though looks pretty boring and long, especially since there's a lot to choose from. Viana ultimately ended up choosing an REI gift card with a 10% bonus from Coupon Cabot. Once you select your gift card preference, tap next. You'll need to enter your first and last name once again, as well as the email you want it to be sent to. You then have the option to choose your payment threshold. $10 is the minimum amount that you can cash out with Coupon Cabin. That's actually nice because other cashback apps have higher thresholds, even higher like $20. However, when Viana tapped save, Coupon Cabin notified her that the payment threshold or the minimum cash out amount for an REI gift card was actually $25. So your payment threshold will vary depending on which gift card you choose. So for example, for an Amazon gift card, the $10 threshold worked. Is it even realistic to earn $10 in cash back through Coupon Cabin in a short time frame? Well, later in the video, you'll see exactly how much cash back Viana earned by using Coupon Cabin. Okay, back to the gift cards now. Once you've selected your gift card preferences, tap save, and you should be set with your payment preference. Once you create an account and confirm your payment preference, then you're ready to start earning cash back. You can see your cash back history and summary on the cash back tab. Here, you'll find your lifetime earnings, payables, payment settings, and history, as well as bonus cash that you've earned. If you tap Become a Cashback Pro, you'll see a little checklist of activities that you can complete in order to earn more cash back. Some of these activities include buying a gift card and earning up to 10% back. However, when Viana clicked on this, Coupon Cabin said that this option was for VIP members only. In order to become a VIP member, she'll need to continue shopping with Coupon Cabin and then she'll get issued an automated VIP membership. Another way to earn more money is to read Coupon Cabin's cashback tips. These tips are basically reminders of how you can make your cashback process with Coupon Cabin more seamless. So for example, you will not be able to earn cashback for any in-store pickup transactions or on any orders through phone or through the store app. Additionally, if you make any edits to your order, you will not be able to claim your cash back. In order to seamlessly earn cash back from Coupon Cabin, you'll need to shop through the Coupon Cabin app and not visit any other online stores or apps before you complete your transaction. Additionally, you will not earn cash back if you purchase an item with a coupon that's not found on Coupon Cabin, even if it's a coupon from the store you're buying from. Once you've read these tips, you can then tap the button below to confirm. Once you do that, you automatically earn $1 in cash back. You can also add your browser extension and earn $5. However, this feature is for desktop only. And finally, if you post your payment on social media, you'll earn a bonus. All right, now onto the fun part, earning cash back. To find cash back options, tap the search tab, and here you'll see a list of online retailers. Note that you can only earn cash back through shopping online and through Coupon Cabin. If you don't, then the app has no way to trace your cash back earnings back to you. So Viana wanted to see if she could get something from Amazon and get cash back from it. Viana tapped the Amazon icon and it led her to a page with a bunch of coupons that involved an Amazon transaction, similar to what you would see on the coupons tab. Anyways, she was very close to actually buying something on Amazon for cash back through Coupon Cabin, but wait, wait, wait. She scrolled all the way down and found out that Amazon does not actually participate in Coupon Cabin's cash back reward system. So another thing to note is that not all stores offer cash back through Coupon Cabin. 
According to Coupon Cabin, you'll know if a store is offering cash back because it'll have the cash back percentage that it's offering underneath its store logo. So if you don't see a cash back rate underneath the store logo, safe to assume that they're not offering cash back through Coupon Cabin. But scroll down on their Coupon Cabin store page just to check in case. So as you can see, the difference looks like this. Home Depot is offering up to 4% cash back while Amazon is not offering any cash back. If a store is offering cash back through Coupon Cabin, then the cash amount might also vary depending on what kind of item that you purchase. So for example, Home Depot is not offering cash back on any installation fees, services, or customized orders. So on the search page, you can scroll down and see some of the stores offering cash back. You can view all of the stores they're offering cash back on by tapping the search bar and typing a letter. Once you do that, a scrolling feature will appear and that will be an easier way to see whether or not a store is offering cash back. Viana told us that she was not a fan of this search feature and that's not the only thing that we're not big fans of. Stick around, you're gonna hear our pros and cons coming up a little bit later in the video. Right now though, let's check out how Viana earned cash back through Coupon Cabin. Hey everyone, Viana here. I'm one of Logan's writers and I'm in my living room about to test Coupon Cabin for the first time. So I'm gonna buy something online using the app and yeah, let's see if it works. So to test Coupon Cabin's cash back feature, I decided to get something that was super important and something I definitely needed, concealer. Specifically from Bare Minerals, who is offering 6% cash back through Coupon Cabin. So to do this, I tapped the search feature and searched up Bare Minerals. Then you're going to want to click on the red Maximize Cash Back button. This will take you to the store website. It's important to not visit any other store or website during this time because you might not get cash back if you do that according to Coupon Cabin. So on the Bare Minerals website, I just shopped like normal. I searched for the product I wanted to buy and when it popped up, I added it into my bag. I then just went ahead and paid like normal as well. My total ended up being $25.81 and after I entered my credit card information and all that, I just tapped complete order. To recap, I just shopped like normal and my 6% cash back should appear in my coupon cabin account within 9 days. I do want to say that if I use the coupon code that Bare Minerals offered instead of buying through coupon cabin, I would have saved more money. If I used Bare Minerals coupon instead, my total would have been $18.05 as opposed to $25.81 with Coupon Cabin. But hey, cash back is cash back. All right, so Viana tried out Coupon Cabin's cash back feature by buying a product from a brand offering 6% in cash back through Coupon Cabin. Her total came out to $25.81 with shipping and taxes. But remember, Coupon Cabin only offers cash back on the item itself. The item itself costs $18, so 6% cash back would be $1.08. So did Coupon Cabin give Viana her cash back? Well, a few days later, $1.08 appeared in her account under the cash back tab. With a total of $2.08 in her account, Viana is about $8 away from the $10 minimum. But hold on here. Does that say payable on April 7th, 2022? So according to Coupon Cabin, this date is when they estimate the cash back to be available for redemption, which is really hard to believe because Viana made her purchase on December 31st of 2021. Having to wait four months for $1.08 is definitely a make or break factor. And right now it is a break. So it's great that Coupon Cabin does follow through with its cash back, meaning the cash back amount appeared in Viana's account, but we're not sure if it's worth waiting several months for. Additionally, it's worth noting here that if Viana had used the brand's own coupon code instead of the coupon cabin cash back, she would have saved more money. So with that being said, this is a perfect time to transition to our next segment, what we like about coupon cabin and what we don't like about coupon cabin. Let's start with what we like. Our first pro for coupon cabin is that their coupons feature or their coupons tab is actually pretty darn handy. Like I mentioned previously in this video, you can shop specifically for in-store coupons or online coupons, and it's nice that there aren't any strings attached for most of the coupons. Like for example, coupons that just needed to get copy and pasted, or even the coupons that needed to be printed. We like the simplicity and that you don't have to adhere to a certain set of rules in order to get a discount rate. Anyways, Coupon Cabin's coupon feature seems realistic to use in everyday life, because it actually has coupons that work. Well, 
Some of them are a hit or a miss, but really what coupon site isn't a hit or miss? Just watch out for those expired coupons. But overall, we think the coupon feature is what really saves Coupon Cabin. Our second pro is that Coupon Cabin has a low cash out rate. Most gift cards are available to redeem at $10 and Venmo, PayPal, check, and everything else also starts at $10. Which leads me to our third pro, flexible cash out options. Based on their gift card selection, it seems like they have a wide range of shops to choose from, but if you'd rather not redeem your cash back for a gift card, then you can also do it through Venmo, PayPal, check, direct deposit, chase payment, crypto, or you can donate it to a charity. That's about it with our pros for Coupon Cabin. Moving on now to the cons. Our first con for Coupon Cabin is obviously the several month long wait for your cash back to become payable. As mentioned earlier on in the video, Viana earned $2.08 total in cash back through Coupon Cabin. $1 for reading the Coupon Cabin tips and $1.08 for purchasing an item from a participating retailer. The $1 becomes payable on January 9th, but the $1.08 becomes payable on April 22nd, 2022, four months after her purchase. So for obvious reasons here, this is a very large downside to using Coupon Cabin. Not only that, you need to earn at least $10 in rewards in order to cash out because $10 is the minimum cash out amount. So even though some time passes and your dollar or two finally becomes payable, you'll still need a rewards balance of at least $10 in order to redeem it. Also, you might have to wait a long time in order to see your cash back in your Coupon Cabin account. These wait times depend on which store you're buying from. So for example, Walmart has a wait time of four to six days while Bare Minerals has a maximum wait time of nine days. Again, this isn't the end of the world, but it would be nice to see instant cash back in your account. Our second con for Coupon Cabin is their inconvenient user interface. For example, if your payment preference is a gift card, then you'd need to scroll in order to find the gift card you want. Viana found it pretty annoying because Coupon Cabin actually does have a lot of gift cards to choose from, but forcing users to scroll to find it makes the app look a little tacky and not up to date. The same also goes for the cashback search feature. Users also need to scroll in order to find their store of choice. Additionally, if you want to view any cashback exclusions or other information pertaining to stores within Coupon Cabin, you'd also need to scroll all the way down to see the fine print. The app also lagged a little bit, and there were times when it wouldn't let Viana go back to a certain screen, which really is a big red flag for an app, especially because this is one that tracks your transactions. To reiterate, it doesn't capture your card information or anything like that, but a good user interface is definitely needed to build trust with users and to build an audience in general. So overall, Coupon Cabin's search features are lacking. And if they really want to compete with similar apps that have a better user interface, our view is they need to step it up. Our third con for Coupon Cabin is that there is a set of rules that need to be followed in order to earn cash back. Like I've mentioned previously in this video, in order to earn cash back, you'd have to search for the store you want to shop at within the Coupon Cabin app. Once the app redirects you to the store's website, you're not allowed to go onto any other website or close the Coupon Cabin app or else the cash back will be canceled. Your cash back could also be canceled if you use any other coupon code during your purchase. And our final con for Coupon Cabin is that it's just a confusing app in general. It claims to give its users five times more in cash back than other cash back apps, but we're not sure it's worth the hassle. Now, with that being said, there are some people who might like this app. So here are some people in situations who we would recommend this app to and people in situations who we would not recommend this app to. We would recommend Coupon Cabin's cashback feature for budget-minded shoppers who are planning to shop at a specific store that does not have existing coupons. So for example, if you wanted to buy something at Walmart and Walmart doesn't have any coupons, but you check on Coupon Cabin and Coupon Cabin is offering a 2% cashback on any Walmart purchase, then you'd be saving money buying it through the Coupon Cabin app. It's a good last resort option but probably not a first choice option for a lot of people, especially since you might have to wait a long time to redeem the cash back. We would also recommend Coupon Cabin to you if you're looking for a digital coupon directory because Coupon Cabin does have a pretty robust coupon feature. It's straightforward and most of them are copy and paste, so it's not difficult to follow. And if you have a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time, and you don't mind waiting several months to redeem small rewards, then this app 
could be beneficial. But that's about it for the people and situations that we would recommend this app to. So without further ado, here are the people and situations that we would not recommend this app to. This app is definitely not for people who need an everyday cashback app that is easy to use. The coupon feature might be useful. Other than that though, we really don't see this app being all that valuable for anyone who's really trying to save money. I mean, you saw it earlier. Viana spent more money when she shopped through Coupon Cabin as opposed to just using a store code that could have saved her more money. Which leads me to our next point. This app is not for you if you find another coupon or code outside of Coupon Cabin that saves you more money. This may seem like a no brainer, but just because an app is offering cash back does not mean they're offering you the best deal. Overall, Coupon Cabin is great if you wanna check out some coupons. Their coupons feature is straightforward. You can copy and paste a coupon code, you can shop directly through the app and have the code automatically applied. You can even print it out. However, Coupon Cabin's cashback feature is lacking and you can probably find better deals elsewhere that have rewards that you can redeem in days rather than months. We won't leave you empty handed though. So here are some similar apps that we feel might be a better choice for you. Our pick to earn direct discounts would be Honey. It's a browser extension that you can install and it automatically applies savings at checkout. And if you want a better gift card browsing experience, consider the Shopkick app, which lets you earn a wide selection of gift cards for popular retailers. All right, that's it for this review. If you do think that Coupon Cabin is good for you, we'd appreciate it if you signed up using our link in the description below. And you can check out our review of Honey, that's right up here. And you can see the Shopkick app in action at Walmart, that's right down here. We'll see you in those videos. Bye-bye for now.